Hello everyone, this is Sanjeev Jain from IIT Delhi. In this video, I would be presenting a brief overview of the MOOC course which we intend to float. This is titled RAC Product Design. RAC stands for Refrigeration and Air Conditioning Systems. This course will be floated by myself and one of my colleagues from industry. I am a professor of mechanical engineering at IIT Delhi. I have research interest in the area of solar cooling, decentralized energy systems, building energy efficiency and recently also on the intelligence inbuilt in nature. I have been at IIT for about 22 years. My friend from industry, Mr. Gudara is a graduate of IIT Delhi, having obtained his mechanical engineering degree in 1987. He also has a postgraduate degree in thermal engineering from IIT Delhi. He has worked extensively in industry for about 25 years and he has worked in reputed industries in the country. He has developed products for railways, he has developed products for telecom sector, commercial sector, etc. and has vast R&D experience. We would be assisted by two of our research scholars who will act as the teaching assistants in the course. One of them is Mr. Jagnamurti, who is a research scholar in the Center for Energy Studies at IIT Delhi. And the other one is Mr. Vinayak Sudalai, who is a research scholar in mechanical engineering at IIT Delhi. Anyone is welcome to join this course, but we would like to have people who have keen interest in product design and who also understand the basics of thermodynamics, energy conversion and heat transfer. The design engineers and the sales engineers or managers who are working in industry, especially the RIC industries are also most welcome to join the course because they would get benefited through this course. Of course, we would prefer to have people who have a degree in mechanical engineering or who are pursuing a degree in mechanical engineering so that they have the right background to understand and appreciate the course better. In this particular course, we would be focusing on the design aspects and the design processes which we follow and also on refrigeration and air conditioning systems. So, we will start with the basic introduction to the design process and also talk about refrigeration air conditioning systems. We would go over to the refrigeration cycle, its analysis, the refrigerants which are used in such systems, the issues related to them. We would talk about the refrigeration system components, how they are selected for the intended design, then talk about the balancing and optimization which is required for understanding these systems. We will talk about the controls and safety devices which are inbuilt into the system for their efficient operation. Towards the end of the course, we would like to talk about the processes involved in the new product launch and present it through a case study. So, we would like to welcome all of you to participate and attend this course and give us your feedback. Thank you very much. So, I welcome you all who have taken this opportunity to have some learnings from my experience in industry. I will start with giving a brief introduction about myself. So, I was here like you as a student from 1983 to 87 doing my B.Tech mechanical engineering and when I was in final year my project was uh, design of a low cost food storage unit. I went to industry for work for a year and came back to do my masters because I felt that for someone to be taken seriously in design you needed a little more than a bachelor's degree and I did a project which was liquid desiccant augmented evaporative cooling systems. Professor P. L. Dhar, who is now retired, was my project guide and um, most of the work I did was under his guidance around simulating the behavior of a desiccant and I also ended up proposing some new cycles which made use of uh, evaporative cooling and liquid uh, desiccants a little better. And that work was followed through by Professor Sanjeev Jain, he did his PhD doing the experimental analysis and that work continued to have traction for a while. In terms of work experience, um, I left campus after my masters to join PNG, did some work in equipment development, did not find uh, things um, interesting enough for a person with the design aspirations. And then uh, most of my work experience has been in companies uh, which dealt with air conditioning. So, I was manager R&D at Feders Lloyd Corporation, I am going to share some case studies of the work I did there. 
the roof mounted package unit that is today used in uh, our uh, Rajdhani and Shatabdi trains. That design was done by me way back uh, in the period 1994 to 1998. And then I also had an opportunity to handle engineering at Carrier India, did some projects related to chillers, window air conditioners, a new platform product was introduced in India when I was uh, heading the engineering department. And it was the first big investment that Carrier made in India, designing from scratch a product for this market and a few other markets using a platform approach. So you will have an opportunity to also get some insight into how big corporations manage uh, their um, design processes in addition to learning from my experience on what happens in a smaller company. And then uh, a few other assignments that I've done, uh, notable among them is when I was uh, with Acme Telepower, there was a need to have a high energy efficiency cooling unit which would make use of free cooling. So in today's um, climate, you may not need to run a compressor if the entire purpose of cooling was to remove the heat generated in a, a telecom uh, shelter. So that part, uh, again, is something we will include that in a case study on to what went into evaluating the systems, how do we take in account the weather conditions and what happens to the inside conditions when the ambient outside is varying, what kind of controls we can integrate. So that will be another um, opportunity for you to gain some insight. And then I did some work at Danfoss, that was my last assignment. Presently, I am a freelance consultant, I am trying to work out some new things and um, do activities like this which interest me. So that is how I am here having the time to take a course in uh, IIT. I also had a brief stint of a three week course at IMA just to get the management perspective because as you as you get into design and senior levels, you need to also manage resources and um, meet your commitments. So with that said, about, um, so a little more about my stay here. So I was in Karakoram Hostel. I was a secretary for Mechanical Craft Society. So the baby Austin 1926 model, you know, was lying uh, unused for quite a while and me and a few other um, uh, batchmates got together and we made it run during our festival, that time it used to be rendezvous. What is it called now? Rendezvous. rendezvous. Okay. So we had some fun driving around that uh, and, and that kind of uh, also stimulated my interest in you know doing things hands on and um, it was a hobby come. So mechanical engineering for me was not just uh, profession but also very uh, close to my heart in terms of hobby. And in my free time during summer vacations, I used to, um, okay, so before that I give you my background. So I come from a agricultural family, my uh, parents, um, uh, still uh, stay with my younger brother at a farm in Haryana and um, I was very keen to get the tractor maintained right. So the first time when it was put through an overhaul, there was a big um, issue like it did not last for more than two years. So the next time I got involved, I got the specifications, I had some professors who were connected with um, escorts. So through them I looked at the specs, I looked at what is the conventional way I went to this place on Hamilton Road in old uh, Delhi near Kashmiri Gate. And the entire process of um, overhaul was supervised and I took the risk of uh, opening the engine, getting it here and uh, putting it back into operation. And uh, the fulfilling part for this activity for me was that uh, after that overhaul, the engine lasted for as long as the new one lasted. So it was possible to overhaul and put back an engine to its original specs if you did everything right in terms of spares, in terms of how you do the machining, how you put things together. So that was interesting stuff. And then, uh, so I was going to come to what, what, what I did next after uh, Mechanical Craft Society was I was also involved with yoga club meditation. So the first Vipassana camp in IIT Delhi happened when I was uh, the secretary yoga club. So I had interests besides uh, academics too. And then the NSF, so that again was um, an offshoot where we helped underprivileged uh, children from uh, a nearby village, Bair Sarai, I think, the, the one uh, on the boundary wall. So we used to during the NSF hours, which was a, a mandatory requirement, was used to to teach uh, those underprivileged children in their evening hours. They wouldn't have the kind of academic uh, help that uh, you and I may be used to. So that 